Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a perfect raining effect in Icron 8 3D animation software. And in this tutorial, this is a really detailed tutorial on how to adjust the rain speed, the rain directions, intensity, etc. So first you can see, this is my Icron 8 3D animation software. This is a raining effect. And of course, to show you step by step, I'm going to start from a new project. Everything start from beginning. Now, you can see this is the standard window workplace. To create a raining effect, first you have to go and click the set. The stage here. Now, click the set. And then you should be able to see a particle. Under the particle, you can just double click, double click the legacy under the environment folder. Here, this is the rate. You can just drag and drop into here, into your scene. And then, once you play, you can see this is the standard rate. And it has certain size like this. This is the standard rate, right? So as demo, I'm going to loop, loop the whole video like this so that you can always observe it from time to time. And then go, go back to the scene and click the range under the modified here. You should be able to see all of these the variables that you can adjust the range. But what about if you want to move the range? Of course, you click the range here. You stop the stop playing first and then you press W. You can move the rain from place to place like this. Of course, you can create a moving animation like this. Now you can let let the rain to move like this. Alright. So of course at here I'm going to show you a few variables here. If you render your video inside here, inside the rain, then under the modified here, you can adjust the size of the rain. You can see this is the size multiplier. What type of the rain you want? Is this a heavy rain or it is just a normal rain? You can adjust it here. And another variable here, this is the color of the rain. When you change the color, for example, change it to pink color, you can see at the top here, you can see some of the, the color, but this is not, not too important. As usual, you can just put it as like the, the light blue or science or just put it as white. Alright, the next one. It's the rain area and then of course you can scroll down here you have a lot of of the variable here the emit volume the y if you change it to become 20,000 what will happen you can see it increase the area and the y by default it is 2,000 and if you put it 5,000 then the x also put it as 5,000 then it increase the general area of the rain. And the height of the rain here is 300. If you put it 3000, you can see it increased the volume of the rain. By default, it is just 300. This is 300 by default. And this one, by default, is 3000. 3000. So 3000. This is the volume. Alright, then another one is the directions. You can change the direction of, of the rain here. Now it is minus 90. If you change it to become become minus 30, then you can see the rain direction already deflected. 
this is one of the way to change the rain direction. If you put it as my if if you put it as zero, if you put it as by default it is ninety negative ninety, then it is going straight. And next you can change the rain speed. The rain speed you can adjust it here. The gravity, the gravity now is one hundred. It it is the this is the default. If you change it to become one thousand, then actually you are changing the rain accelerate towards the gravity. If you change it to become ten, it will become a really slow rain. Something like this. This is the gravity. Just adjust the gravity toward the rain. By default, it is 100, but if you feel it, it is too fast already, you can change it to become 50. Sometimes you may want your rain to just fall in that type of the speed. And next one is the, the wind. The wind, it is preferable to change the wind direction of the X. For example, you change it to become 1000. Then, now you can see. If 10,000, this is the wind, right. by default it is 0. And Y here, if you change it to become 10,000, it is going to blow toward the Y axis. 10,000, this is the wind. Of course, by default it is 0. And usually we don't change the z directions, it is meaningless because that is the vertical directions. Right, what else? The direction or the angle of the rains, this one already show you. The gravity, the wind directions, the aerial, the color of the rain, and also the rain size multiplier. And also at the beginning I show you how to move the rain. That's all. You can see this is this is a really detailed tutorial on how to create a raining effect for your Icron 8 3D animation rendering. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all this tutorial or sharing are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D animation and game developing. See you.